100 players who shook the cup. Shook the cup. Tom was the uh, the sort of the, the, the glamour player of the of the 60s team I think. Um he was the type of player who you could be bedazzled by his by his footwork and and just love to watch him go past defenders. Had played against Liverpool when Preston knocked them out of the FA Cup a little earlier in um a game a tie that went to three matches finally settled at Old Trafford. Um but uh, again he gave the team shankly's team um he, they they had the hard men they had the the goal scorers but in in peter thompson they had a great creator as well this is number 11 thompson the lions win his flag the lions win his flag and they get the goal and the lions was put his flag down bit of a childhood hero you know um similar to John Barnes in many respects that he didn't you know he didn't sprint past full backs he seemed to you know he seemed to uh, glide past them and trick them and you know he had the ball station he had his feet and then he'd be making a move or he'd make the full back make their tackle first they used to call peter thompson the players did the post office because you could give him the ball and he'd sort it out and distribute it <laughs> um peter thompson what a gifted player they said when i first came to anfield that um he could almost open a tin of beans with his uh, with his left foot but uh, he was he was dazzling to watch always used to love seeing peter thompson with the ball at his feet and he was a great crowd favorite you give the ball to peter and and you knew that something was going to happen and he certainly had the stamp of class there's no doubt about that the criticism some had of him was that he over elaborated uh you used to hear them shout get the ball over thompson and he wanted to beat the man three times you know he wasn't happy playing the simple ball he wanted to uh, to show off his skills but that was the way he was you couldn't change it but he was a wonderfully gifted player and of course his goal uh, against chelsea in the semi-final in 65 again one of the great goals the most meaningful goals of liverpool history uh, that um, took them to wembley in 65 and ultimately their first ever fa cup success